Hi Capricorn, welcome to your September 2021 monthly tarot reading. I'm Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back guys. If you're new to my channel today, welcome. I'm really excited to bring back the monthly tarot readings for each zodiac sign. So if this reading resonates for you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you want to receive messages that resonate for you because I focus on my subscribers first and foremost. Be sure to also check out your rising and your moon sign. And with that being said, um, I meditated, shuffled, laid out all the cards. Um, let's start with your oracle messages, Capricorn. So for the month of December, uh, December, oh my God, not yet, month of September, uh, you received 639 megahertz. This is your frequency energy. It's reconnection to relationships to yourself and others. So might be really... Um, prevalent for you dealing with others this month or needing to focus on yourself this is a uh, green energy uh so it reminds me of the heart chakra i would definitely check out the music frequency track that i'll put in the eye in the sky for you these are all tools bells and whistles for you to matriculate through the month if you're having a hard time the frequency music is nice because you can meditate with it you can listen to it when you go to sleep or um, you can use your gemstones right to help with the healing process while you listen and you receive jade which is again this beautiful green energy wellness the recovery of health and wellness is here you and saggy um, had a lot of health um, significators in your reading. So Jade is going to be definitely the gemstone for you to work with for the month of September. You may also want to include, hold please, 28. Uh, let's see. Some rose quartz, uh, celesite, pink tourmaline, larimar, emerald, and fluorite okay as additional gemstones to meditate with sleep with put them in a pouch definitely combine some clear quartz crystals okay these are all just you know to help you matriculate through any change all right let's see what's going on here for you capricorn five of swords bottom of the deck overall energy mm. uh, this is how we communicate this is conflict energy learning to pick your battles Winning isn't always critical, Cappy. So you could be dealing with some power struggles this month in September. I mean, I would advise you to bypass any drama because if you don't, things can get blamed on you, and we definitely don't want that going on. Um, five of Swords can be tricky, gossipy, can be an unfair energy, uh, maybe feeling like you've been through the battle. But, you know, the changes... Um, our challenges are, you know, then opportunities. So uh, you get to choose. Now, I will say the one thing I do like about the Five of Swords is that it is victory over a struggle. So let's keep that in mind. It might just be a little troublesome at the beginning of the month for you. Let's see what's going on. Overall energy, Nine of Cups. Nice. In your most recent past or this energy of you getting exactly what you want. Uh, Nine of Cups is really promising. It's like a wish my what I call my wish card something coming true for you emotional abundance something is going to be making you very happy here so um overindulgence too so be careful um with your wellness as well just picking up on that that may not be for all of you you know no over consuming of food or alcohol and you know keep it all in line with uh, some type of regimen for you um in your current position you will be dealing with this energy of the four of wands wow this is my happy surprise card this is home um this is your very foundation what brings you joy this is creating memories um happy surprise so some celebrations could be um coming in for you early in the month this is taking time out to have a good time if you're invited to any kind of parties or um, engagements or anything like that i would say go um, sometimes we just need to you know spend time with friends and family um, 
you know, take a pause for the cause kind of thing, you know what I'm saying, and relish in trials overcome. So this is some kind of good news, I think, coming in for you. This is something, like I said, making you very happy that you've been wanting. So you can answer that for yourself. What is it you've been hoping and wishing for? You're going to celebrate. It's manifesting for you, so congratulations. Now, in your immediate future, you do have the hermit. Mm. So now maybe you need to make some big decisions here, Cap, you know? Um, this is finding your answers from within and going into a solitude, um, like a contemplative um, state to meditate, to contemplate, to seek enlightenment about your decision because it has to be, it, it, it has to come from some internal place and it's about um, the path that you want to go down. Right? What is my purpose in life? What's my next move? Um, what is the direction I need to go in? Because, see, God is kind of shining this light, right, to illuminate you on this path, right? But only you can really, from your heart of hearts, make that decision what's best for you. It's very spiritual energy as well. Um, it's a very healing energy, okay? So you could be dealing with a relationship. Or your own, some of your own health issues, maybe the stress and aggravation here along the way. Uh, your advice card, let's see, let's keep moving. Seven of Cups. All right, whatever this news is or whatever this victory was, um, now this could be about, um, I'm picking up real estate here for some of you maybe fours are about our foundation this is also moving to the next stage within a relationship so maybe you're trying to decide um, okay what do I want now because uh, this could be my mini marriage card here and it's integration and prosperity and you're looking at maybe all your options so your advice is to take your time because the seven of cups can be like a, a confusing energy I mean it's nice to have options and choices um, but it is my mini manifestation card. So you could be feeling overwhelmed um, or confused. Okay. And this is why you have to go into this internal state about making these changes in your life with this relationship or how you deal with others or your own health. Um, just be careful not to over fantasize or daydream because that could be a little, you know, that could put you in a state of um, overwhelm, okay, or not being in touch with reality here. Maybe this is why you could be aggravated um, dealing with some conflict here about how you communicate. Um, at the end of the day, what there's what my spirit guides are saying is that you really need your mantra needs to be, "What do I want?" what do I want and not worry about everybody else because this is your life your decision okay <laughs> don't worry about what somebody else may want this is about you and what's best for you and sometimes that's hard in relationships because we don't want to feel guilty we don't want to fight we don't want to be stressed out but I do feel like you could be stressed about making this decision, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So choose wisely, wisely, take your time, um, refocus, and um, keep your feet on the ground, okay? And do some of these meditations over here. Listen to this frequency music. Okay, the influence from behind the scenes is the Six of Pentacles. You know, Capricorn, you're finally getting what you want and what you deserve. You deserve happiness. You deserve the relationship that you want. Um, this is so amazing. Uh, this is assistance, support, somebody coming in, maybe helping you. This is balance and fairness in love. And things are getting better in your relationships. Wow. This is also money coming in. If you're into real estate or you want to buy a home, okay, um, this is loans, grants, clients, money, promotions at work. I mean, this this is beautiful to have behind the scenes. So God's got you back here, Capricorn. You know, one hand washing the other here could be about, again, others and how they play a role in you making certain decisions about how you're going to move forward. 
okay, whether that's a business relationship or a romantic relationship, your obstacle is the fool. Okay, so for the month of September, hmm. You know, Six of Pentacles resonates sometime this, um, it, it resonates taking, um, taking a risk. Um, actually the Seven of Cups, that's what I meant to say. Seven of Cups sometimes signifies a taking a risk, okay, and this could be what the uh, the blockage is all about like maybe you feel like you can't move forward here you know um this is the brand new path you're supposed to be walking down but you're in this state of limbo you're not sure what to do okay so you need to look sh shift your perspective that you have all the power that you need to achieve your dreams your desires your goals to find your life purpose find your career purpose um this is the first step onto that new journey so you have to look at it at it like that that you are um at the very beginning of this new cycle in your life and if you honor that and take that perspective i think you can breathe and release whatever um struggles you might be dealing with or conflict here okay um really important to kind of shift your mind here now uh star card as your final outcome beautiful energy mm. i love the star card it's my favorite favorite card of all time especially in this deck i just love the purple energy how she's praying for the connection to be all that she wants to be this is a wish card so you have two wish cards here two wish cards this is very powerful capricorn you are exactly where you need to be and that's what i was saying like you need to shift your your mindset here okay and know that you are exactly where you need to be that you have to give yourself a chance to articulate through the changes and or any kind of confusion that you're dealing with and and don't rush but you may have to take a risk here for your hopes dreams and desires and maybe that's what you need to hash out what are those what do you really want capricorn okay um this is positive energy this is new growth comes after a struggle baby like i was saying see here that's what i love about the five of swords because this is victory over struggle and you will overcome here look you got the high priestess under there talk about powerful spiritual energy that's got your back so there's something that has you a little off kilter this month um it definitely has to do with you being able to move forward on some kind of victory within a relationship or going now to the next level within the relationship or your investments, okay? Star card, what else is coming through? Um, this is your new truth, wish fulfillment, being able to move forward after a struggle, filling your cups, okay? That you got, you got that with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, not the Six of Pentacles. This is yeah, Seven of Cups, filling your own cups with what you want see it's like this will happen if you trust the process and you trust yourself okay trust the relationship trust your ability to heal and be in the state of recovery mm. this is star energy you know it's it's so powerful this is like you are the star you, you, you're learning, you know, learn to use the energy around you as well. Follow my other channel, Lauren Larson, where I teach you how to feel your own energy. Please drink a lot of water here in the month of September. And just know that you have to put one foot in front of the other. Rome was not built in the day. You're being called to really go on a deep level to uh, find the answers from within to overcome your delusions or fantasizing or daydreaming and really deciding it what it is that you want in this relationship it's got all kinds of abundance behind the scenes okay tangible real stuff you know practical stuff you know um you're being led for this course correction that's what they're showing me they're so funny they show like the arrows in the road you're so funny, my spirit guys. It's like course correction, you know. Um, and it's not like you're doing anything bad, but whatever this is, it's like it's your turn, Capricorn. I guess that's, you know, this is the balance that you deserve, the balance and fairness, okay, with things finally turning around. 
Now you're definitely going to be offered something here as well. Yeah, we know that. This mini commitment card. Hope and promise for the relationship. Hope and promise for what it is that you want to bring into the world here as well. You need to embrace your life purpose, your career purpose. If you don't know what that is, or your twin flame, hit me up for an astrology reading, guys, because life is too short. You know, it just really, really is. All my young um, millennials, and what's the what's the generation coming up <laughs> now? Oh, my God, I'm having a senior moment. I can't think of them. They know. They're like, you know what? Get out of my way. I want to know what my life purpose is. I don't want to waste my time. Where? What are my secret talents? What did I do in a previous life? This, what am I supposed to do in this life? It's just so hopeful and promising um, to circumvent the power struggles. And it's more about us from the inside out, right? How we uh, have so many preconceptions about who we think we should be instead of focusing in on what it is we're supposed to be doing. It's, it's fun. It's exciting. I love doing the career readings. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, all right, guys. So with that being said, I'm loving this energy for you. Please take care of yourself. The heart is about balance and healing and opening yourself up to love and understanding. Not only trusting yourself, but trusting others. Having hope. Having hope. Hope and promise. Mm hmm compassion balance and forgiveness for what it is you want to manifest in this uh month okay know that you are exactly where you need to be you're being divinely guided and perfect and protected by your angels and your spirit guides if you want to know who your spirit guides is that's the other thing i offer a brand new e-course you may want to check that out i don't mean to be plugging all my stuff here but certain readings where it comes up i feel like i have to say it like you could be really ready you know, my guides tell me, you know, I'm not always plugging my stuff <laughs> for the sake of plugging it. But for you specifically, I'm hearing that the uh, um, Meet Your Spirit Guide e-course would be really beneficial for you. All right, Capricorn. With that being said, have a great month of September. Hey, if you guys want to catch me for live Q&As, um, I uh, blah, blah, blah on Instagram. Come on over Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Would love to see you over there. Connect with you on Instagram as well. Regardless, I love you all so much. I'm going to wish you all the best for September. And we'll see you next month, Capricorn. All the best, okay? Oops, hold on. Where did you go? <laughs> I can't find my mouse, crazy thing. Oh, my Lord. What did I do? Here we are. Sorry, guys. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.